Hey guys, what is up? This is Ink Slasher 44. Today we've got a domination game on launch, and uh, got a lot of things I'd like to talk about today. Uh, the first being the gameplay. Uh, just gonna talk about that quickly, and then we'll move on to Black Ops more in general. And uh, that's pretty much all I'm gonna talk about this video. So basically, uh, start out by saying I uh, accomplished goal one for this game, and goal one was to get a gameplay with more than 50 kills and less than 10 deaths. And did that in this gameplay, uh, and I also did it while being a team player, which is pretty good. Uh, there's a few situations where I definitely should have played the flags a little better, or uh, just done a few things a little bit better, but... Um, we all make mistakes and uh, you can learn from them. So, uh, second thing is uh, my other goal for um, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare, Black Ops, I mean, uh, is to get a free for all game with zero deaths, in other words, flawless. And I've come very close, as you're going to see in the next couple weeks. Uh, I've gone 30 and 1, I think, three times now, which is very frustrating. Um, and then I had a gameplay the other day where I was, like, four kills away, and then I, like, died, and, uh, like, went f on a five-death streak. It was just brutal. Um, but, uh, I'll talk about free-for-all a lot later. Um, at pretty close to the end of the video. But, uh, anyway, let's talk about this class I'm using here. Um, I'm using the AK-74U, uh, with, I don't think... Oh, the grip, of course. Uh, you gotta throw the grip on this thing. Uh, either the grip or dual mags, and uh, the reason why I like this class so much is because it's a great submachine gun. It's, I love it for this map, and I love it for Domination, because Domination and also Headquarters, you're gonna run into a lot of uh, close encounters, and uh, close encounters are uh, a very important thing. That is why uh, my second perk right now is Hardened Pro. Is because when you get in a gunfight with someone, uh, you don't you don't want your gun uh, kicking up a lot. And also, as you're gonna see right there, uh, you're gonna main thing that you're gonna want to do in this game is since it takes more shots to kill people, you're gonna want to engage people to sh gunfights on your own terms. Um, that is why the first perk is so so important. Right in this game, I'm using. Um, what's it called um hardline and on any of my classes that i have a silencer uh i'm gonna be using ghost uh which I'm, i'll be talking about in my next free-for-all commentary uh but basically ghost uh is very important because never then you never show up on their radar and it makes it even easier to uh never show up on or to uh engage people on your own terms which is very important um and that Next is uh, secondary weapons. Um, there's been a lot of talk about what the best secondary weapon is since there's no shotguns or really overpowered launchers such as the Thumper or RPG. RPG is still good in this game. It's just not nothing. It's nothing compared to Modern Warfare 2. Um, being able to get multi kills like three times a game. It's just ridiculous. But uh, anyway, best secondary weapon. Uh, Two things that I suggest, tr actually three things I suggest try, depending on the type of player you are. Uh, first thing, I don't use this personally, but is the Makarov with uh, extended mags. I watched a video of XJaws the other day, and he suggested this. I gave it a shot. It personally isn't for me, but uh, a lot of people will like it because it gives you the extra bullets um, that you need in this game because you're going to be uh, killing people with more bullets and you're gonna need that extra few shots me I uh, either use it for finishing off people as you can see right there or I use it for when I run out of bullets and in this game I'm not using a proper secondary weapon but in the past games I have and basically the other two that I suggest highly highly suggest trying is the pythons akimboed and those things are just amazing as I've said before they can uh, kill someone with like three shots and uh, up close you can just take someone out so quickly and the other thing is uh, the last pistol you unlock the classified pistol I don't remember what it's called but try using that with the uh, fully auto uh, attachment and that attachment pretty obvious allows you to shoot fully automatic 
and it, it works pretty damn good. Uh, I prefer, personally prefer the Pythons Akimbo, is what I normally use, and uh, I highly suggest using that because I just I fell in love with it. And um, next uh, thing I'd like to talk about is the sound um, in this game. Uh, the uh, recent update, the things they've changed are a uh, few things in particular. Uh, the first, the video is really laggy right now. I really hope it's not like that in the game, but I'm sure it will be because the freaking recorder is being retarded lately. Uh, but anyway, the sound in this game, the recent update, they have actually made it so footsteps are once again louder. So for all our, of us sound whores that uh, enjoy uh, wa listening to people in free for all, where they're exactly where they're walking on the map, uh, this is perfect for you because uh, I've got Turtle Beaches as I've said in uh, earlier gameplays, and it makes it just so easy in this game for me to hear exactly where everyone's w walking, and that's very important. Uh, next thing I'd like to talk about is um, titles of my videos. I will no longer uh, be uh, putting episodes as the title of the video since they don't really go in any chronological order, per se. Like, they, they do time-wise, like when I put them out, but really they don't really relate to each other, so there's no point. Uh, next is sniping. Um, s sniping in this game is very, very different um, than Modern Warfare 2 or any other Call of Duty, um, because you can't really run around and scope down your sights and just pick someone off within 10 seconds of doing that. So, um, yeah, you're gonna not want to uh, do that. Um, but do I like sniping still? And this is a very iffy subject because, um, I do when I do well doing it, but I don't when I don't do well doing it. So it just really depends on the day, and, uh, I don't mind that they took it out of the game because it was getting a little ridiculous, the whole 360 fakey ladder stall, quick scope, no scope, fakey. Uh, pistol switch sort of deal and uh, for those of you who don't know what I was just talking about it's basically the whole montage crap about doing a 360 and then spinning the other way and then stalling on a ladder and then changing your pistol and switching back and shooting someone it's kind of stupid if you ask me but uh, I'm not a montage person so I can't really talk about that next thing is how to be a team player um, be an episode coming out of that soon I haven't decided what uh, game mode I want to do, I'm probably going to start with Headquarters just like I did in Modern Warfare 2 and uh, go from there. Uh, next, so f Free For All as I was talking about earlier, um, I've been playing a lot of Free For All lately and <laughs> doing extremely well at it. I have a lot of gameplay saved up for you guys and you guys should look forward to seeing those because uh, I got a lot of 30 and 1s, 30 and 2s, got a 30 and 4, that's pretty exciting. Uh, but I've been just beasting. My kill death in free for all right now is getting close towards four, and that's a really beastly kill death. Uh, my kill death in regular matches is like 1.6 because I've decided that I wanted to be a team player in domination in this. But in uh, free for all right now, it is like getting close to four. Uh, I was expecting to have a three kill death in free for all, but definitely not a four. So I'm pretty happy with the the four right now which is pretty damn sweet um another thing that actually i'll talk about the whole ps3 and xbox thing in my next commentary which will be a free for all one um fallout i haven't put a video out lately because basically if i would um it would just be a bunch of crap uh of me talking about black ops because i'm totally obsessed about this game right now but uh once i get sick of black ops which will probably be not for a while, probably not till after Christmas. And there, it was definitely necessary to shoot that yellow thing. Um, but, um, uh, basically, yeah, I will not going to put one out for a while because I want to stick to this game right now. Um, and uh, right here uh, is nearing the end of the game, and the sound right now for me is just annoying me because. It's actually off right now, like the sound in the game and what's going on, and it's really, really confusing. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so sorry if it's like that for you guys, if the sound's all messed up and it's really laggy. But uh, whatever. <laughs> um, 
So, uh, lately, uh, I haven't been getting very many subscribers, I don't know why, uh, but I think it's because people have actually been, uh, leaving me because I haven't been making Fallout, and a few, like, ten or fifteen people were actually subscribed to me for that, um, but they should just know that my channel is actually a Call of Duty channel, and great, the phone is, uh, ringing, and I can't get it right now. They're gonna have to wait, because they should know that I'm doing a commentary right now. Um, I will call them back though, don't worry, I'm not a big douchebag. Uh, but right now, it's nearing the end of the game, so uh, I'd just like to remind you guys to comment, rate, and subscribe. But real quickly, I'd like to talk about something, uh, right before the end of this gameplay. The, it is, uh, the score in this game. It gets really, really close at the end, and I know we need to pull off a win. So, I knew we needed to, uh, either capture B or dominate them. And right here, uh, Evan, I'm, I was playing with him right now, you may know him as, uh, Evan 1994, uh, he went to C and I went to B, I just wanted to make sure there was no one there, and he absolutely, we just t totally dominated them right at the end of the game, and just totally took them out of it, and, uh, beat them, uh, 201 to, like, 196, so it was an incredibly close game, but, uh, we ended up taking it at the end, and I was pretty happy with that, um... We, so I got the win, I got my 51 kills, 7 deaths, and that's a pretty beastly gameplay, guys. Uh, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.